is it finally here, the tool that will allow designers to develop mobile apps without developers? Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another episode of Weapon of Choice where I'm talking about the tools that I use to get my design work done and new tools that I'm experimenting with and today we'll be talking about Supernova. And Supernova is, it's not actually a new tool, it was launched last year during 2018 but I never really got a chance to play with it until today and I want to share my thoughts with you. So basically what Supernova is, is a tool that allows you to import designs from tools like Sketch and then turn them into mobile apps like native code like Xcode for iOS or Android code or even React and so that you'll be able to really hand off code instead of just design. Now I've been literally waiting for an app like this for years. I've been waiting and asking for people to make Webflow for apps because Webflow, as you know if you've been watching my channel, is the tool that I use to develop websites without developers. But when I'm doing web apps or more specifically mobile apps, I still can't use Webflow for that and I still have to work um, with developers to develop the apps. So I have to deliver just designs and they have to build out even the layout, the interactions, everything. And I've been waiting for a tool like Webflow for websites but for mobile apps and it seems that maybe Supernova is a move in that right direction. I had hopeful hope like big hopes for Framer X to be that and I did a review on my channel but it ended up not to be able to export code and not to be able to replace actually developers at least doing the front end of apps and so I was quite disappointed of that and had and wanted to check out if Supernova might be the right thing for that. So let me give you a quick tour. It's not really a tutorial but just kind of a quick tour of the app so you can see basically how the flow works like. So here's the app and this is like a basic design that was imported from Sketch. But what you can see here that this design, they actually turned it, turned some of the aspects here. So this is no longer just a button that was a rectangular, an icon and a label. By clicking here and converting it into a component, as you can see, they chose here a uh, component type of a button. And then when we're previewing this, this is literally a button that can be clicked and can be assigned into a new screen. Here on this screen, this uh, was turned into a label so you can actually turn this. This button was turned into kind of a switch. And so as you can see, this literally works. And when you actually click here, you can click code X and literally see the code in this case for iOS that will be exported or Android code or React code. So this is real front end code production ready that you can use and it's pretty easy. I've watched the tutorial. It's pretty easy to take kind of the groups from your sketch, convert them into um, components, link them together and create simple animations so that you'll be really able to deliver this, including all the auto layouts and responsive layouts. And it will literally save hours of development work or communication between designers and developers when they are developing apps. And so I think this is really, really promising. Now, one thing I noticed around this when I started learning this is that you do need to start learning new concepts about how developers actually building their apps so that you can work with this. And this is really similar to what happened to me when I started learning uh, Webflow and I understood that I need to understand the concepts of web. I can't just be like a designer that plays around with shapes anymore. In order to build the website, I need to understand the structure of the web. So with this, you really need to understand the structure of apps. So there is a learning curve just besides, you know, learning the program, you need to have new conceptual models around what is uh, collection lists and, and all types of views and, and components that you might not be familiar with. I'm not familiar with all of them. I do because I understand the concepts of the web. Some of them are translatable, but there are new concepts here that are relevant to app and app views and components and states and all these type of new concepts that you actually need to learn. Now I'm big on this. I'm actually glad that this helps me learn to think like a developer and understand where my designs are actually going to be living at. So I'm happy that, you know, these type of apps give the designers more power and more understanding around controlling the way that their design ends up 
you know, living in real life and saving time for developers to just do layout work, which they hate in any case. And so I'm pretty excited about this tool. I think that for the next app de design that I'm going to have, I'm going to experiment with it. I did saw and read some, you know, reviews online to see that not all of the features are fully built yet, specifically when it comes to layout, but hopefully this is a good enough um, place to start. <laughs> After all, you know, when I started using Webflow, it didn't have the possibility to, you know, add multiple pages to a website. So I think that for me, it's important to get onto new tools fast and kind of become early adopter in them in case they are going to change the industry and, and going to revolutionize the, the way that we work. Um, I know that there are other apps being developed at the moment. Uh, specifically, I have a friend working on an app called Relate, which is also trying to, you know, bring designers, enable designers to export production ready code for apps. And so there are new players in this, um, in this area of translating design to code, which I think something that is not really solved yet in the app space in the, in the website uh, area. As I said, I think Webflow did it greatly, but in the app space, specifically dashboards and apps that are not only um, mobile apps, Supernova looks like they are focusing on becoming m mobile apps specifically, it looks like they're oriented that way, but sp specifically for me, because I do a lot of uh, dashboard apps and, and web apps specifically, I wanna be able to deliver my clients kind of like code ready, at least front end, so they'll only be uh, need to connect the, the back end and the data into it and they could you know, uh, proceed to work and I'll be able to maintain the design and add new components and maintain kind of the, you know, the design system overall when, when I have control of it. So I'm pretty excited with tools like this. I'm definitely going to try to use that on my next production, like real project with clients for this. Check this out and let me know in the comments what you think about Supernova. Did it work for you? Did you ever try it on a real project? Let me know. We'd love to hear from you and I'll see you tomorrow.